This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Then we take a sign, a sinusoidal waveform. Okay, we take the sinusoidal waveform and we mix it in a nonlinear device with a low frequency information signal and then we will show mathematically how that will raise or transfer the low frequency into higher frequency that is superimposed on the high frequency signal. I will show that uh, mathematically how we do that and then we will show at how we can at the receiver how we can retrieve the information from the high frequency signal and bring it back into voice. This is, will give us a complete telecommunication system using RF. Sine wave can be described, uh, complete, it can be completely described by using three parameters. These parameters are the amplitude of the sine wave, the phase of the sine wave, and the frequency of the sine wave. As you can see here on the board, V of omega t is equal V peak sine omega t plus or minus phi where V peak is the maximum amplitude of the sine wave, omega c it is the angular frequency, and phi is the phase angle. If we take this one and we mix it in a nonlinear device with the low frequency, audio frequency, we can show that mathematically the new wave is as shown equal to the peak amplitude of the carrier plus the instantaneous amplitude of the information signal. As you can see on the graph, this is how it looks like. Now, we can see clearly that the information signal now is superimposed on the carrier and it resembles the amplitude, the varying amplitude of the carrier resembles the information signal. This kind of modulation we call amplitude modulation.